Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the For Love of the Game podcast. Going to do another card talk segment today. I want to talk about one of my all-time favorite card sets, the 1964 Topps Giants set. So these uh, were the first postcard size issue from Topps. They measured about three and an, three and an eighth inch by five and a quarter. And I'll just compare it to a normal size card here. Um, this is a 55 Ken Boyer. So you can see the size difference. It was a tad bit larger there, but obviously you got the, the Whitey Ford. And I'll show you a few more and then dive into it here. This is the uh, Ken Boyer All-Star for St. Louis Cardinals. And then here we have Elster and Howard, whom I'm sure you guys are very familiar with. Uh, the first African-American to uh, play for the Yankees and uh, just tr tremendous all-around player. But you can see the size of these cards are awesome. I love this set for a few reasons. One, it, it's pretty affordable for your average collector. It's a great way to get some of the high high grades of the game's best and even, even the ungraded, you know, very affordable for your average, uh, average collector or who's so someone who just wants to go after some of, some of the game's greatest players. Um, the look is obviously very clean. Uh, they, they went with a nice crisp look on the front. And then my favorite part on the back here, they switch it up from the traditional stats. They go with a little newspaper uh, clipping look here, a little newspaper article. Love that. It gives you uh, some of the players' uh, all-time highlights on the back. So pretty sweet. And I will point out that there are some key short prints, including Sandy Koufax and Willie Mays, uh, making them a little more pricey. But all in all, I believe there's about 21, 22 Hall of Famers in this set. Again, you can get some of the game's greatest players. Like look at this Frank Robinson. So clean. It's almost like they're here with you. I mean, look at that. So I'll set that. I'll show you a few more here. One I just picked up a couple weeks back. Newest Hall of Famer here, Tony Oliva. And this, I consider this Oliva's first rookie card, his first solo rookie card. He's on a 63 tops. He's on the 64 tops, but both of those, he's with other players. This is his first ever solo card and, and just a great shot of him there. And Oliva... I really enjoyed learning about him. He absolutely tore it up. Uh, obviously, he won the batting title his first two seasons. And uh, just looking back at his stats, and uh, I'll share a book that I'm reading right now in a little bit, uh, just about his career. And he was such a pure hitter. One of the great game's best hitters during the 60s. So, beautiful card there. Let's see, put that over. Whitey, sorry, Whitey. And this card got me hooked on the set right away. One of my all-time favorite cards, Roberto Clemente. I mean, just look at how crisp that is. It's such a such a classic photo. This is such an iconic shot of one of the game's all-time greatest hitters right there. So th this is the guy who got me hooked on this set. I'm gonna continue to to build it and see where it goes. If anyone wants to make some trades with the the Koufax, the Mantle, or uh, the the Willie Mays, hey, I'm all game. And another reason why I love the 1964 Topps Giants set. Uh, back when I was in eighth grade, I think I read this book for the first time. I've read it multiple times since, but this takes you into the season, the 1964 season which uh, that World Series that year pitted the New York Yankees against the St. Louis Cardinals. It would end up going seven games, and uh, Bob Gibson would, would be the MVP of that World Series and win the decisive Game 7 against uh, Yogi Berra's uh, New York Yankees. Then he was the manager his first year. And it just does a great job of telling the, the whole season from you know the perspective of the Yankees and the Cardinals and how the Yankees were at the tail end of their dynasty and the Cardinals uh, with their young pitching and base stealers with uh, Lou Brock and obviously uh, covered him up here, but no, oh, covered him up twice. But with Ken Boyer in there as well, um, 
uh, really takes you back in time. I would highly, highly recommend this book for anyone wanting to learn more uh, about our great game. But there you have it, folks, the 1964 Tops Giants. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll catch you next time.